name. Welcome to the McKaylee Center for Sports Injury Prevention. We are so excited to have you here today. Um, we're very excited because this is our first live workout webinar. And bonus, we get to share that with the Boston Pride. And the Boston Pride players joining us today are Jillian Dempsey and um, Taylor Turnquist. So Taylor um, played with Clarkson, fantastic hockey, pro hockey program over the years. And, um, and Jillian played with uh, Harvard. And she's been with the Boston Pride since its birth. And so uh, Taylor, why don't you say hi to everybody? Hey guys, I'm here. Super happy to get to work out with all of you. So I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. And Debs? Hey, thanks for coming, guys. We're excited. Um, we're going to work hard here. Some exercises you can do wherever you are um, in your living room, outside, but just some simple things to help us get better and stay in shape and exercise. So thanks for having us. We're, we're thrilled to be part of this. Awesome, guys. We're so happy to have you. And then just a reminder, for those who attend, you're going to be entered into a raffle for a Boston Pride signed hockey stick. How awesome is that? So let's work hard. Let's motivate each other. Even though you can see us and we can't see you, that doesn't mean we're not going to be here for you and motivate you. So basically how today is going to go. Don't worry about equipment. Even if you don't have an exercise mat, it doesn't matter if you're in the comfort of your own home. Work out in your underwear. That's okay. I don't care. Um, that's okay. We won't know. So um, the point of today is to just have fun, get moving. But hey, we're also athletes. So we're going to work hard. We're going to sweat. And then we're going to motivate each other. All right. So here's how today's going to break down and we'll get right into our workout. For the first few minutes, we're going to do a dynamic warm up, all right? That's basically moving and stretching. Um, then I'll demonstrate our first strength circuit. Most of it is gonna be on the floor for that first circuit. Then we'll hit a water break. Then I'll demo the second circuit, more strength exercises. We'll do three sets of each circuit. Then we'll do a water break. Then at the end, pretty awesome, we're gonna have what's called an AMRAP. That means as many rounds as possible. I will just, I will explain all of that later <laughs> so that you don't have to remember it for now. Um, but that's how we're going to end this awesome workout to get ready to get working um, and get ready to sweat. Also, keep water super close. If you sweat a lot, maybe a towel. Um, and then at the end, we'll cool down, maybe have some cool conversation with, with Taylor and Julia. So if you guys are ready, let's stand on up. We'll start with our dynamic flexibility stretches. Come on in. So first, we're going to start with simple knee to chest. Hands around the knee, pull up to your chest, and we're going to switch, all right? And while you're doing that, I'm just going to start my timer so that everything we're doing today is going to be off of time. We're not doing reps for everything so that everybody can go at your own pace. You can go as slow as you want, as fast as you want, totally fine, all right? So I'm going to start my timer. All right, so now we're gonna do quad pulls. So grab your foot, pull your heel toward your butt. From the side, it looks like this. And we're gonna alternate side to side. Be sure to keep those knees even with each other. You don't want your knees sticking out forward like this. Stay tall and try not to lose your balance. All right, now we're gonna do what I call Frankenstein's. Arms out straight, we're gonna kick the legs out. Keep those heels on the ground, okay? Don't let those heels come up. Great job, great job. All right, now this one's a little tougher. You're gonna put your ankle on top of your other knee and we're gonna pretend to sit in a chair. And then come up. And switch. Other leg, sit in a chair. Other leg, sit in a chair. And your job is to try not to fall over. So from the side, it looks like this. You want to make sure that your knee isn't coming forward like this. That's going to hurt, right? You want to sit back. Sit the hips back. Awesome. All 
All right. Now we're going to open and close the gates. One knee is going to make a big circle all the way around. Then we're going to switch sides. Just for the viewers out there, just so you know, Jill and Taylor did not go through this workout with me, or sorry, the warm up with me. So they're with you right now. We are off the cuff. Loosening up those hips. Let's close those gates now. So now we're gonna trace the circle back the other way. Leg out, in and down. Try and keep your core super tight. Try not to fall over. Good, all right. So now let's get those arms warmed up a little bit. So you're gonna have the arms out nice and wide and then we're gonna give ourselves hugs, all right? Big hugs. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of your shoulders, all in front here. You should feel a great, great stretch. Awesome. All right, let's get those arms even more. So we're gonna do kind of the same thing, but we're gonna go up and down, straight up, straight down. From side, looks like this. We're swinging those arms. Great job. Great job. You might be starting to feel a little warm. Maybe you're starting to lose your breath a little bit. That's totally fine. At any point you need to take a break, you go for it. All right. So now, what's a warm up without a jumping jack? So let's jump into some jumping jacks here. We're going to go 20 seconds. All right, keep going. I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking. If I sound out of breath, it's because I am. Because I'm gonna work just as hard as you guys. And relax, good. In place, butt kicks. Okay, you can go as fast as you want. You can go a little slower, whatever works for you. Works for me. Couple more seconds here. And relax, good. Last one, let's open the legs up a little bit. And we're gonna just lunge side to side. Nice and easy. I like this one, Sarah. <laughs> this one's okay, right? This is a good hockey player one. <laughs> Speaking of hockey, all of our hockey attendees giving you a shout out right now because you guys are super awesome. Um, so glad you guys can join us today. This, uh, this workout is geared toward, ho toward hockey, right? I want to give a shout out to the Northeastern University um, women's hockey team, right? Relax, because I know that they're joining us today, so thank you. Um, all right, that was our five minute warm up. If you need water, please grab some. I'm going to. Don't forget to hide. The Howland Huskies are here. <laughs> a lot, a lot of the Howland Huskies are here. <laughs> a lot of the Howland Huskies are actually just getting off the ice and joining right. us, probably. <laughs> uh, okay, so. I'm going to demonstrate our first circuit, all right? Our first exercise is donkey kicks, then we have side planks, then we have push-up lowers. For the donkey kicks and side planks, we're going to do 20 seconds on each side, 30 seconds for the push-up lowers, all right? Don't worry about keeping track of time, I'll keep track for you, all right? So, we're going to come down to our floor or the mat. You're gonna be on your hands and knees, okay? And all you're gonna do is, with your knee at 90 degrees, you're gonna bring your heels to the ceiling and keep your belly super tight, okay? We're gonna do 20 seconds on one side and then we'll switch and do 20 seconds on the other, all right? 
The next exercise will be side plank. You're going to be up high on one arm. Legs out to the side, arm reaching for the sky. If this is too hard, we'll show you how to uh, modify that, all right? Then we'll do that 20 seconds on each side, and then we're going to do the push-up lowers. It's not your regular push-up. We're going to be up high in a push-up position, but we're going to focus on the lowering of the push-up. So slow, 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 slow. Once your chest hits the ground, I don't care how you get back up. You can put your knees down and push yourself back up, and then we're going to lower again push back up, all right? We're doing that one for 30 seconds. Now, we're going through that circuit three times. Yup, three times, all right? We're gonna be sweating, all right? So, if you need an extra sip of water, get it now, because we're gonna need it. And we're gonna stir it up in just a few seconds here. So, all right, Taylor, are you ready? Born ready. Bill, are you ready? Ready, let's do it. <laughs> let's go down to the floor for our jockey kick to start. 20 seconds. Here we go. Again, you can go as slow as you want, as fast as you want. What's important is that we use our core. If you don't know what our core is, all right, switch legs. Core is your belly, essentially, right? And if we're really strong in our core, then our arms and legs will move better. Keep it up. Five more seconds here. Those bones should be burning. And relax. Good. Now we're going to go as five plank, 20 seconds. Arm up to the sky. If any of you are struggling at home with this, you can bring it down to the knees, okay? But you wanna give yourself a little challenge. The challenge here is balance. <laughs> and keep the um, belly super tight. Let's switch sides. Don't forget to breathe. Oh, good, good point. Do not hold your breath. Breathing is the only thing we can't live <laughs> without like minutes of, if you, <laughs> and relax, good. If you're not breathing, we're gonna pass out. So we gotta keep breathing, great point. All right, let's come down to our push-up lowers, all right? Starting up high. Slowly lower. Push back up. Slowly lower. We're going 30 seconds here, so pace yourself. Almost there. And relax. All right, we're getting right back into it. If at all you do need water, please grab some. We're ready, but jump right back in with us, all right? So back to the first exercise, doggy kick. Jillian, how are those glutes? They're firing. Getting warmed up. Switch sides if you didn't. Sorry. I said switch sides in my head. I forgot to say it out loud. <laughs> Sorry. Five more seconds on this side. Good. Side plank. 20 seconds. Ooh, I almost lost my balance. <laughs> Belly strong, hips up to the sky. Switch sides. Oh, 
the screen right here. He's got this down. <laughs> Taylor, how's that core? Is it burning? Definitely on fire. <laughs> you want to make this really hard, pick up one leg. All right, come on down. Push up lowers for 30 seconds. I'm trying to sweat now. <laughs> Work through the burn. The burn is where our muscles start. Good job, relax. One more time through this circuit, all right? Back to the donkey kicks. Go for it. The third set is what separates us. That's where our muscles learn to grow. That's where they they start to break down so they can build more, so they can make us stronger. Switch sides. Remember to breathe, like Taylor said. Don't worry, we'll be getting water soon. Side plank. Awesome job. Okay, everybody out there, I know you're working hard. Keep it up. Keep it up. Switch sides. Core engage. Hips are up high. Don't let your hips sag to the floor. That's not what we're about, right? If we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. And relax. Push up lowers. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to a water break. Keep it up. You know you want to get this quick. Hang in there. A few more seconds. And relax. All right, guys. Woo, get some water. Yeah, Deanna. Yeah, Ryan. I know I can't see you, but way to work hard. Good job, guys. Sarah, I'm impressed that you talked that whole time. It's tough to follow. Huh? <laughs> By the end, I might be just laying here. Okay. <laughs> Can you on the floor? <laughs> so, uh, just a quick while we're doing the water break. Um, Jillian, what have you been doing to stay motivated during uh, during this pandemic? Um, eyes are on the prize. Eyes are on the cup. Um, you know, we got the championship got canceled like a day, well, forty eight hours before it. So, I've um, been trying to keep up with everything be ready to go when our next opportunity comes which is now 43 days away in the bubble so um that's been plenty of motivation for me that's awesome it's it's crazy too because it's like okay 43 days but what do i do in that 43 days right <laughs> it's not like you can play games it's like we have to prep ourselves as best we can taylor taylor what about you what have you been doing to stay motivated um, it's definitely a process, you know, not knowing when you are going to play, but you really just have to trust that process and do the little things each and every day to get better, because when it comes time, you'll be the one that's ready. So for me, it's just been doing the little things each and every day, getting in good workouts at home, and I think we'll be ready. Absolutely. Sometimes it's the hardest part, right? It's, it's just about baby steps. All we can do is try and progress and, and improve every day as best we can, right? Um, so thank you for sharing that with us. Hopefully that'll help somebody else stay motivated, even though this is a really tough time for everybody. But in the meantime, let's continue to have some fun. 
Let's get into circuit number two, all right? Do it. This, we're gonna go through this circuit. Sorry, we're gonna go through this circuit twice, all right? Two sets of 30 seconds for each exercise, all right? We're gonna start with alternating bird dogs. You could just watch for now if you're still getting some water. Opposite uh, alternating bird dogs, okay? So anybody who's done yoga has probably seen these before. We're gonna extend the arm and leg straight out. Keep that belly tight. We don't want any hyperextension or opening of our hips. And then we'll come down and switch. We'll do that for 30 seconds. Next, we're gonna be on our backs. Legs up, our back flat to the floor. Do not let your lower back come off the floor, okay? And then we're gonna slowly lower one leg, come up and switch. Okay, 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do a Taylor special, a squat to lunge. So we're gonna do, oops, make sure you can see me. We're gonna do a squat to a lunge. Squat, other side, lunge. The whole time you're doing this, try and keep your balance. It is challenging. We're doing it for 30 seconds. All right, ladies. So let's come down to our mats and get ready for this second circuit here. So again, going through this twice. Let's come down to our hands and knees, alternating bird dogs. We're gonna start in three, two, one, and go. Try to kick your heel to the back of the room and reach your fingertips to the wall in front of you. Ten more seconds here. Work hard. And relax. Good. Next, we're going to go into our alternating leg lowers. Laying on your back. Heels up to the sky, belly tight. Back is flat to the floor, alternating those legs. 30 seconds here. This is a super awesome core exercise because it makes you, uh, it makes you work on those deep core muscles like your transverse abdominis. And in doing so, it helps take the responsibility away from your hip flexors. And especially in hockey, all right, still relax. Especially in hockey, our hip flexors get so, so tight. And so we wanna make sure that we're taking good care, right? So we can use our core. We're gonna flex the whole mind as much. Let's get to our squat, lunge. Squat, lunge. I'm gonna do this from the side because I got a couple tips. When you squat, I want your butt to find an invisible seat. Knees do not go past the toes. Keep the hips back. When we come up into our lunge, 90 degrees in each leg. Front leg 90, back leg 90. Squat, lunge. Good, hang in there. Hang in there, stay, stay strong. Couple more seconds here. And relax. Very good. Back to the top, alternating bird dogs, second set. Here we go. Shout out to the Carpinito family. I know my last name's Carpinito, but I also know my whole Carpinito family's out there with me. <laughs> Shout out to the Triggs in Jersey, too. Almost there, 10 more seconds. Keep that belly tight, don't get sloppy. And relax, let's go to alternating leg lowers. On your back. Taylor. Bring your answer so we can all hear you. Um, what are you most looking forward to 
when you get back to playing hockey, get back like in competition. What are you most looking forward to? Let's get on up, squat to lunch. Um, I, I'm most excited to get back in games, you know, the swing of things. It kind of is a bummer, you know, just practicing all week, but once it comes game time, I mean, all this work is gonna show, so that's what I'm most excited for. Uh, my favorite part is always the goal huddles. I love a great back check, I love a block shot, and I love the goal huddles. So I can't wait for that. Hopefully we'll have What were you saying, Debs? I was saying, hopefully there's going to be plenty of goal celebrations because I love those. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we all want. For those who don't know, Dems is quite the goal scorer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You have that laser from the point. I know. Seriously. Ooh. Ah. If you're out of breath, you're working hard. That's awesome. You're right there with Taylor, you're right there with Jillian, you're right there with me. We're working hard, we're sweating, because we know. We know what our goals are, we want to get to them. We know that when we get back on the ice, we don't want to get hurt, right? And so this is what we do, especially at the McKinley Center. We work hard, we help prevent injuries, right? But then it also, win-win, your performance gets better, right? So if you want to be stronger, faster, right, and prevent injuries, you know, it's a place for you. Little shameless plug. Um, <laughs> so um, we're gonna head into. Ooh, I'm breathless now. I gotta gotta breathe here. So we're heading into our AMRAP. All right. AMRAP means as many rounds as possible. All right. And we're gonna do three exercises. Our magic number is six. All right. We're gonna start with skater hops. All right. Just a demonstration. We're going. Sure, a lot of hockey players know this one already. So, great. Um, we're gonna hop one, two, three, four, up to six. Then we're gonna go into plank reaches. You're gonna be on your elbows in a plank. We're doing six reaches. One, two, three, up to six. Then the Julian Dempsey special jump squat, all right? We're here, getting a couple inches off the floor, nice and strong, all right? We're doing six of each exercise. Now, for the AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. Once you do six skater hops, six plank reaches, six jump squats, you go right back to the beginning and do six more of each. You're gonna do as many rounds of this circuit as you can in three minutes, all right? You're gonna be exhausted. You're gonna sweat. Keep that water bottle handy. If you need a break, take it. But then when you're ready, jump right back in with us, all right? So we're gonna try to also stay hydrated <laughs> and motivated, all right? So let's get started in five. We're gonna come into our skater hop, so let's get in position. All right, everyone go at your own pace. Just count for six reps, all right? And go. Good, skater hops and plank reaches. Six each. Jump squats for six. Skater hops. Ooh. Keep it up. Strong. Nice job, guys. Keep pushing. I'm not telling you the time on purpose. 
Legs feed the wolf. Here we go. I'm not talking because I'm tired. <laughs> we got about a minute and 15 left. Hang in there. That form starts to go when you're tired. Keep good form. That's right. Last push, come on guys. Someone's gonna be sore tomorrow. That's me. 30 seconds. We've already blasted through. Two and a half minutes. Ooh, here we go, grind it out. Let's go. Go guys, push. Ooh. 10 seconds. Go all the way to the end. Keep going. Ooh. That's time. Great job. Woo. Great job. I started with um, a six each. I missed. That one put me. <laughs> what was that? I think I did. I landed six each leg on the first one. And I was like, oh, no, they're onto their planks. And I was over here like, <laughs> That one gets the heart rate up. Well, more power to you. <laughs> there we go. Nice. <laughs> I'm sweating. Good work, everybody. Oh, there we go. Love it. Love it. All right, we're going to get some water, <laughs> catch our breath. And while we, we're going to cool down, because what keeps you coming back to a workout is when you reflect during a cool down. You are bringing your heart rate down naturally and realizing, you know, that works really hard. But it wasn't that bad. I couldn't do that again tomorrow. I could do that again the next day. And you realize, hey, I'm stronger than I thought I was. All right? While we're doing this, um, I'll probably ask Jillian and Taylor some more questions. So let's get started with our cool down first. Come down to the floor. One knee on the ground, one leg out in front. Now, we're stretching our hip flexors and quads. I can't see you, so I'm gonna ask you to hold yourself accountable when you stretch your hip flexors. We don't want this, okay? If you saw my video on our Instagram account, wanna make sure your belly's tight and engaged, your glutes are engaged, and you'll feel a nice stretch right in the front of your thigh. That's the hip flexor we want to hit. If you're feeling fancy and want a deeper stretch, pick up that back foot. Same thing. Belly tight, booty squeezed, stay tall. Let's switch sides. Ooh, I feel energized. I don't know about you guys. So this is a question for both of you. I mean, what, um, I guess, what does working out in fitness, what role does that play in your lives? Because you're super busy, because not only are you professional hockey players, let's come down to our, um, our butts, sorry. You're a professional hockey players, but then you're also teachers and people have full-time jobs and everything. So how, what kind of role is fitness playing in your life right now? And how do you get over that hump of not having enough time? So before you answer that, next stretch, 90 degrees and 90 degrees in the back leg. 
one leg in front, one leg in back. You're just gonna reach those hands forward, get a little stretch in your glute, in that front leg. All right. We're gonna hold here for a little bit. Just breathe. If you need water, go for it, that's fine. So Taylor, you wanna tackle that question? I was just gonna say, um, definitely for me, um, working out and fitness is something that I prioritize in my life no matter how busy I get. It's something that I do each and every day um, because ultimately it's why um, I'm good on the ice and why I feel strong on the ice. Um, so even if like I'm struggling to find time, like I just do, you know, a short 20 minute workout like you just did, get a good sweat in and um, no matter what, even if it's 20 minutes, whether it's an hour and 20 minutes the next day, like feeling that soreness is so rewarding because you know that your body is that much stronger. So, I mean, for me and advice to you guys, um, really prioritize fitness in your, in your everyday lives. Yeah, I love that, Tay. Um, I'm just gonna add on to it. Which side? It's funny because, um, you know, you make time for what's important and exercising daily and, and getting that movement in and your training. I mean, even if you're not an athlete, it's so important to be exercising daily and it's that overall health and balance of a great diet as well. So, um, you know, you make time for it because it matters and it's very easy to find excuses. Oh, I had a long work day. Um, oh, I'm feeling a little tired today, but it's almost when you're feeling that way and you just grind through it, you feel even better at the end because you, you push through it and you embrace the grind. So um, that's something that, you know, every athlete has to do at some point, you know, not every day is a hundred percent energy, you know, far from it. So it's how you respond on those days when you're, you're tired and you're busy. It's you still find a way to get it done and to make it count and make the most of it. So, um, you know, just can't stress enough the importance of being active every day and being consistent. Like Taylor said, even if you're short on time, you can get something in and it'll still be rewarding. So um, just make room for it, make sure that you prioritize it and do the little things right. Let's come up to our knees, stretch out our sides a bit because we did a lot of core work today. So you can sit on your heels or if you wanna be tall kneeling, either way is fine. We're gonna bring one arm up, reach for the sky and then reach over. If you need the arm on the other side to support, that's totally fine. Yeah, no, I really appreciate you guys saying that because, I mean, you guys lead busy lives and somehow you're able to find the time, let's switch sides, um, to stay in shape and stay motivated. This stuff is hard. Throw a pandemic in there and it's even harder. It's hard even when there's no pandemic, right? So we got to just make sure that, you know, check in with yourselves and, um, you know, Realize that everybody is going through the same thing. We can't be thinking about the future and how hard this all is and how we don't know what the future holds right now. There's nothing we can do about it. The only thing you can do right now is just um, keep your goals in mind and take every, every step just day by day as best you can. Take a breath, right? And make sure that you're taking care of you and then everything will fall into place, right? But, so we're super, I mean, we're coming to a close here. I know I could just preach this stuff all day to you, but I'm sure you have lives you wanna to get to, maybe dinner. Um, but I'm so excited that you guys hung out with us today. We did a quick workout. We all sweated, we all worked hard, and we wanted to keep each other motivated. That's why we're here today, right? That's why we brought Jillian and Taylor to you guys to work hard with you, to let you know that we're here too, all right? At the McKaylee Center, we're the McKaylee Center for Injury Prevention. We do a lot of um, ACL prevention and return of play, uh, injury prevention evaluation, data analyses. Uh, we have a concussion program. All of these services are there for you to help you stay on the ice, on the field, on the court, right? We care about you, all right? 
I don't care that you can squat 500 pounds. I want to make sure that you have good form when you squat. I want to make sure that you, you have good form when you cut and pivot so that you don't get hurt, right? And so uh, just because we love sports so much, we want you to be able to play the sport or play the activity that we want. So again, I want to, uh, a big thank you. Hang in there, guys. I swear I'm almost done. But a big thank you to the Boston Pride staff, uh, the president, uh, general manager, Jillian and Taylor. Thank you so much. The social media for you guys. Uh, it was extremely helpful to have you um, uh, work out with, with the McKaylee Center. Um, I also want to thank my colleagues here at the McKaylee Center because they made this possible for me to do. Half our gym is cut off right now. <laughs> and so uh, in order for me to do this, right? Um, so uh, I want to make sure that's everything. Now, I, I just, to the attendees, thank you so much for joining us. You are why we're here. And great job sweating with us today. And hopefully we get to do this again and we can just keep sweating. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Jillian and Taylor, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. And thanks to the McKelly Center. We appreciate you guys, what you do for the Boston Pride. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for coming.